Hey, good morning, Tim from Team Ohio Detectors. It's uh, Thursday, August the 11th. Finally back at it after uh, 10 days without a detector. And let me tell you a little story. This is why I love Garrett detectors, not just because I own an AT Pro, but I bought my machine on June 30th, 2014. And I use it heavily. Uh, an episode ago, I think it was, uh, I started experiencing problems with the uh, control module numbers jumping all over the place up and down the scale and I thought it was because of the area I was in I was able to detect a little bit more um, later on that morning but the next time I took it out it started that as soon as I turned it on and it kept doing it no matter whether it was over the ground or held straight up in the air the thing is still going crazy check my paperwork and found out that I was 24 days out of the two-year warranty that comes with the machine. I emailed uh, Garrett in Texas and told him my predicament. And I received an email back less than 12 hours later telling me that if I could get it to the factory before August 1st, they would still cover it under warranty. And they did. I got it there the Friday before the first, and I wasn't supposed to get it back till today, but lo and behold, it came back yesterday. They sent me a brand new control module. I am just elated and didn't charge me a dime. So if you wanna talk about service, folks, that's why Garrett is one of the top rated uh, metal detector manufacturers in the world. Okay, I'm headed to uh, a house that was built in 1900. It's on the main drag here in the city and uh, see if I can do any good. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, this is a spot. Uh, it's got a yard area out front. It's not very big. I'm also going to do the curve trip and uh, around the corner there's more yard area. So uh, we'll see what we can do. Like I said, it was built in 1900. You can tell by the architect architecture. And interesting about this place, uh, back in 1984, I used to live right up there. That whole top floor is one huge apartment uh, when I got hired by the city of Mansfield. Uh, they had a residency requirement. And that's where I moved to. I was there about uh, nine months and I bought a house. Anyway, I'm gonna do this area here and um, probably that little strip along there also. We'll see how we do. Okay, I've been here about 20 minutes or so and uh, dug a few clad coins and uh, bottle cap and some pull tabs. I just dug a rifle casing out of, out of the front of this yard. Uh, large caliber from the looks of it. I haven't cleaned off the bottom to look uh, to see what the caliber is. But uh, yeah, I don't know what it is about this city and bullets and shell casings. Out of that hole, uh, just a couple inches down, I dug a token. On the back it says, just fun is more fun. On the front, and around the edges it says, no cash value, but I think I see the initials, A-C-R-A maybe. So I'll have to go home and look that up, see what it is. If it's anything interesting, I'll uh, note it in the picture that follows this clip. Well, after all the clad and everything else, and uh, trash, and uh, pull tabs, and the bottle caps, I got a wheat scent. Yay for me. I tried brushing it a little bit to get a date off of it, and I can't see one. So, I will show one later. I've been digging this one for uh, five or six minutes. got a penny out, and I was still getting a signal. So, I dug back into the side of the hole. And I got a 59, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I think it's a 59 Jefferson. I don't know. 
know, maybe it's a 39. I'll clean it up. Okay, got kind of a weird signal out of this hole. And the coin was laying in the side of the clump. I figured it's uh, another penny. I have to clean it off and I didn't recognize it. And this is what it is. It's a Canadian one cent piece. And I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see 1933 at the bottom. Awesome. That one was a two bagger. Out of the same hole, a little bit farther down is a 44 wheat penny. Awesome, awesome. Okay, this is the same hole. I'm still getting another hit down here. Hopefully it's another weedy. Well, I can't tell. It looks like a, it's got Lincoln on it. Let me clean it off a minute. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a 51 wheat penny. And that's the uh, newest coin out of this uh, three coin hole. Let me check it one more time, make sure there's nothing else in here. Another hit. Back in a minute. Okay, the top one is a 54, and the bottom one is a 41. So let me check this hole. Make sure I'm not missing anything else. And there is another target in there. Oh, right there it is. That's another weedy. Yeah, I don't have to clean that off. Hang okay, on. I think the bottom one is a 40... I think it's a 42. I'm not sure. I'll show you a picture of it later. Let's check the hole once again. Still more coins in there. Down to the bottom. There it is. And that also appears to be a wheat scent. Four wheaties in one hole. Awesome. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I think I uh, just don't know if the remains are either a uh, cheap pocket knife or a box cutter. Um, kind of leaning towards box cutter down in that hole only about a couple inches. I'm hunting a curb strip along the west side of this house. And I haven't gone down that way yet. So uh, there's something else down in the hole. Well, I'll dig that out and we'll see what it is. I see something red colored down in there. of a lighter yeah just an old lighter okay 